This is Sol Johnston and Project 3-2 using System Restore. So in here, let's go ahead and get to our System Restore settings here. Go to System and Security. Then we're going to go to System here. And then we're going to go to System Protection. And then we're going to create a restore point. And we're going to say old desktop image. Click create. There we go. It has created successfully. And then we're going to click OK. And close out of here. And I'm going to change my background image. And we could just change it to anything else, just so long as we know it's different. There we go. Now we know it's different. And we're going to go back and, well actually, our next step two is uh, we're going to create some documents in here. Let's just put a couple on there. There we go. And then we're going to go back to our system restore. And go to a previous restore point. And here we go. So we're going to go to system restore. Click next. And there it is. It says old desktop image. Click next. Click finish. And then we're going to say yes because we wanted to do it. And there we go. It says it completed successfully. And it still shows our background image as being the other one. And it shows these text documents in there too. So as you see, it doesn't change the background image, and it doesn't change the files as we're looking at them. So it doesn't change your personal settings; it just changes the background, uh, or actually the back, the services in the background. So basically, your Windows services is the only thing it really changes. So, like for example, I've used uh, System Restore once on a machine where some drivers got corrupted and we were able to go back and actually fix the drivers by going back to a certain point in time we knew when they were working correctly. Uh, it's not usually the best idea to do that, but in th that one situation it was um, the best for the customer.